Hi everybody, I am Asad Irfan, your networking guru and uh, as you can call me a guru and today I will be simulating uh, best topology that will uh, you will use uh, uh, CSMACD to implement an Ethernet network and the number of nodes will be almost 20 or uh, whatever you want to simulate on that so it's really cold here today and I'm also suffering from flu so you would have to bear up with my mind, uh, voice okay so as usual go to a new project uh, eat coax just name it like that anything you want create empty scenario <coughs> uh, office actually I am suffering from extreme flu today so sorry for that office 100 100 and in this menu it's better to select the model that you want to implement make sure you click eat coax coaxial cable uh, finish the uh, disclose that and it's really easy from the FTP video that I created previously so you have to go to topology random configuration next and eat station in the link model eat coax the number should be set to 20 tap tap basically uh, actually I'm will uh, sharing this note from where I learned this so what is a tap the eat tap is an ethernet bus uh, tab that connects a node with the bus so <coughs> this is what it is so click ok now click on this link here click right click here click attributes uh, click advanced uh, in the advanced you need to set delay I'm gonna set that to 0 0.05 and the thickness of the line should be set to 5 and like that click ok ok now click on this node select similar nodes click attributes now I need to <coughs> change some configure okay now I have to select the traffic generation type now I'm gonna select skip that exponential now I should go for Poisson actually you can go with exponential and Poisson but let me see where is Poisson so mm, it's not present here oh yeah here it is but I experimented with exponential so I'm gonna keep like that and I'm gonna select the value to instead of 100 this is where the package would be created and in the off state I will now one of the questions that was asked uh, by uh, to us uh, in the class was that why should we use uh, Python basically why should why do we use uh, Python so one of the reasons that I personally found and that is based on my uh, previous knowledge of probability that uh, Poisson is used when we are working with events that are not dependent upon each other so we have random events and uh, those events are inter not dependent upon each other like they are in independent of each other so those even uh, those such type of so the occurrence of those events in a particular amount of time can be modeled using Poisson so this is what it basically a Poisson is so if you compare that with the computer networks so you can see that events of traffic are first of all random and they don't depend upon each other so in and the and a specific amount of time it's 24 hours so in that case we can use points on click uh, okay now I need to go to so the reason is that uh, uh, like uh, it has been used like Poisson has been used widely because it models your traffic model very efficiently when it comes to computer networks so you need to go now to choose individual statistics go to global statistics traffic source number of packets uh, just give <coughs> packets per second click ok now you need to go to death choose uh, statistics advanced here I got edit attribute now I want to need some scalar data and time average apply similarly I will do the same here attribute scalar data enabled time average okay and uh, 
said one of the things that <coughs> had which attributes I did not apply to selected objects and track regeneration okay apply to selected objects let me check whether I apply it on all of them or not just wait a second yeah apply to selected objects here yeah, I made a mistake so I forgot to click that option that's why I'm just correcting that so 0 0.0 you need to set that in the first stage when I open that window okay 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 now you need to go to this now you need to go here which is for 30 seconds let me see what happens so something has happened Click okay <coughs> sorry once again so it's browser Wow, what is that? Looks like some. Well, I don't know what is it, but it is something, and I don't know what does it mean. That it's an exponential distribution, and when do we use exponential distribution? So that's the important question. So as far as I know, we need, we are using exponential distribution because we are concerned here with the time with uh, basically what happens on my I like uh, how much traffic is sent between the individual time intervals when the traffic has been sent so the that traffic between the time intervals in the successful time intervals that's happening this is what I think because this is basic definition of uh, exponential model exponential distribution thank you very much uh, that's all for today Next time I will be with some new video and if you need help on some video on my previous video uh, you can simply ask that in the comments. Thank you very much and don't forget to subscribe for more.